Kelly Clarkson explains why she's not very open about Brandon Blackstock divorce. Kelly Clarkson is willing to share the details of a divorce from her ex-husband Brandon Blackstock, but her being a mother to the kids and being a stepmom to his children from his previous marriage are holding her back from doing so. Clarkson and her fellow The Voice judge Wen Stephanie did an interview with Entertainment Tonight recently. The Kelly Clarkson show host talked about a divorce and said that she wanted to address her split because some of her fans were concerned. Clarkson described herself an open book, but for some reason, she just couldn't speak as much when it comes to her and Blaisdell those split. There's a lot of hurts involved here, Clarkson explained. And you know, that's the thing that's been kind of hard to navigate, is I'm an open book. But at some point, I'm a mama bear more than I'm a person in public eye. So I care 100% more about my children than I do anything else on this planet, she added. So that's been the hard thing of all like, yeah, it's, I'm willing to share my experience and yeah, it's the words. I mean, the past few months have been horribly sad, but at the same time, I have to think, mm, like, what I say has a domino effect in other people's lives. Clarkson's parents are also divorced when she was younger, but back then, where there is no social media, thus she thinks about her kids and how the divorce would affect them. She knows that it's kind of difficult for kids to navigate when the parents are popular. Clarkson stressed that there is nothing wrong with anybody and there is nothing to hide. She added that no one is to blame and it's just that divorce is really starting things. In related news, Clarkson's father-in-law shoot her because she allegedly earned them $1.4 million in commissions for her work on The Voice and the Kelly Clarkson show. Leaked court documents revealed that there was no written management agreement, but Clarkson had been paying a management company for the work she's done on the shows. She paid the company $1.9 million this year, but literally still owes $1.4 million.